In today's episode, Maki does maths. So this small beers are half the size of the regular beer. That means I can drink four times as many. Brilliant! Cheers everybody! There is something else I'm missing on my little Kawasaki and his side panels right over there, there's triangle pieces one on this side and one on the other side The previous owner botched it, the previous owner well I guess he did the best he could with the materials he had given so it was obviously some kind of sign he painted it black on the other side and he simply bolted it on onto the little side panel like here he drilled in a frame, pulled self tappers in, job done well in my opinion that looks really fucking shit. So these are These are going and I need to Sort something else out. Yes, I know I can buy them panels But there is a problem because the bike is so rare as I've mentioned it a number of times before um, These panels are fucking expensive. They are an arm and leg. I've seen them going for about 130 pounds a piece a piece You know you can probably get them for 30 quid, but it's on the left hand side and it's beaten up to shit, it's cracked, it's missing lugs and everything and it's just not worth it, so I'm gonna make my own. Now, I am fully aware that it's probably easier said than done, but I'm gonna cut out a number of templates from cardboard, place them over there and see what I can come up with. Right, sometime later, and with a friend of my friend Hami, we've got something to show you. So we started off with a paper template, uh, I kind of folded to what I want it to be, then I traced it over to this piece of shared aluminium panel I had over here, this one because uh, it's so much easier to work with aluminium than steel and uh, as a trial I just want to see whether this you know, will work on the panel and it kind of does um, I will need to cut it over here and put a little tag weld over there and then weld the front plate on top of it uh, but because I cannot weld aluminium because I'm not skilled enough I need to do it from steel let's get it done do you know the best part about this plan is this piece of mild steel shipped delivered one and a half mil thick cost me 5.95 delivered I mean, how the fuck is that even possible so for 5.95 i'm hoping to make two panels for my little kawasaki when a single panel that is beaten up to shit and only one costs 30 pounds plus delivery logic Yeah, I don't have a metal band that, so I need to improvise. I guess that will do, right? Anyway, this is what we got at the moment. And I think we got a pretty decent fit so far. What do you say? Needs a little tweaking, obviously. Needs a mounting point right over there. I'm gonna make a mounting point right over here as a whole. And there's a mounting point right here in this little lug over here 
and I reckon 5mm bolt will go in there just fine. Sorry, this one here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna weld the nut on the other side of it because it's a pain he has to get there. Um, but just like an, a lug that would push in there and there's a rubber part over here so I reckon that would be strong enough. Two mitic points on top and they'll look like this. Obviously painted black so it looks alright. A few more tweaking and uh, let's get it finalized. There we go. One more bend this way and we got near enough perfect fit. I need to just grind off. There's a tiny little mark over here and smooth on this edge over here because it's just uh, not clearing against the frame. Other than that, my little panel, very simple looking but solid. It's nearly ready. Well, obviously, apart from drilling holes and a bit of welding and a bit of uh, painting and a bit of finessing it. Other than that, we're nearly fucking there. Let's do this. Don't know about you guys, but I'm liking the look. I'm liking the simplicity of it. I'm liking it's quite thick. I'm liking it's a little bit different. I know it's not finished yet, but the finished article should be should be acceptable, I hope. Anyway, let's carry on. All right, so the one last thing I need to create over here uh, to make this piece complete is a little stud that goes right into this little recess. To kind of hold my uh, side panel in place. Uh, since I don't have a lathe to create something really cool, and if I, if I did have a lathe, I don't know how to operate it, a regular bolt will have to do. And this one is just the right size. I can shove it in there, weld it to the other side of the panel. On top of it, I can put a lock nut uh, somewhere over here to create a stopper so it doesn't go any further in. It stays exactly what I want it to be. So that's the next job. There it is, my little side panel is now in place. Obviously it needs painting, but I kind of like the look. I would like to say I probably like the look of these panels more than the original ones. Because they just did more, I don't know, maybe just me. Just a bit more homemade. But a good thing is, this little stopper down there, ah, get off. It's solid as it is. Oh, get off. <laughs> well, that's a good sign if I can't get it off. Oh. I'll be able to put a little lock nuts over here to determine how deep I want it to go in where I want it to stop which should work pretty good I think there it is one done so there it is one panel the right hand side is done all I need to do is do the other one from uh, the other side unfortunately I can't just mirror it because the other side is slightly different and just like this by magic of cinema the other one magically appeared over here so there we go them two panels one goes this way the other one goes on the other side they are similar looking but trust me they are very very different panels don't know about you guys but i'm quite happy with these little panels um, all i need to do now is finesse it and paint it let's get to it and by the magic of cinema just like this we've got them two panels ready and painted um, no they by far perfect they're not perfect I'm not gonna polish them I'm not gonna you know super finalize them I think they are good as they are right now they definitely better than not having panels at all they better than the panels that were there originally uh, by the previous owner and I'm not paying uh, 130 pounds for a set of panels you know or each panel from that fact I think this will actually add to the overall look of that little bike of course you want to see how they look on the bike 
in place well I'm not gonna disappoint let's have a look there they are right underneath that seat uh, well I think they look pretty decent they look like something that's nearly supposed to be there obviously I need to put a screw here and there I just put them in place on that little stud bolt I made and they hold them pretty well to be honest I need to screw them securely in place but I want to wait fully for the paint to cure but other than that I'm quite happy with that look I mean it doesn't look unnecessarily out of place okay it's a custom made panel but you wouldn't look at it and say what the fuck is this I think it's a semi decent job over here what do you think guys let me know nice little bit of fabrication something I like doing I'm not necessarily any good at it <laughs> but I'm still enjoying doing little bits and bobs like this and that is think for today I believe and with these two little tasks I think I've completed everything I wanted to complete on that little bike apart from the paint obviously which is the cherry on top of the cake um, but for this you need to join me on the next episode and until then guys as always thank you very much for watching rock hard have a beer and we'll see you very soon